Um, the other one I just felt then to bring in and ask was uh, to get some feedback on was I was standing in a line uh, waiting to order a cup of coffee and this man was in front of me and something in me, I was looking at him and he was a painter and I was checking out his clothing because I'm an artist and looking at the colours of paint he had splashed on him and blah, blah, blah. And something in me recognised that, like it was just so ordinary, but that moment in time had been perfectly set up for just him to be this person, I have no idea who he was, to be standing in front of me doing something very ordinary like ordering his lunch and coffee. And I was just in wonder of like, oh, my God, look how that was just set up for him to be there in this moment. We didn't have any conversation. There was nothing, but there was just some sort of recognition again. So it felt like it was something about time, some sort of understanding about time was coming. Yeah. So I just wanted some feedback on that too. Absolutely. All right. So you're, 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 you're seeing the detail of these viewpoints, mm -hmm. which is kind of the the rolling back of how manifestation, the movie, our stories, life, world, how that gets constructed. All right. So you move back and you go, oh, and so the, the perfection of mm -hmm. the timeline. Yeah. yeah. So that mm -hmm. moment, you're not in the story of like, oh yeah, I'm next. What did I want again? Or, yeah. You're yeah. not, you see? So your lens of perception is open. So yeah. something must have been very open and available just beforehand that you probably mightn't even notice. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's simply with practice, you know, yeah. as we're, when we're not in the drama, uh, there's nothing going on, you see? Yeah. And now these lenses of perception are showing themselves to you. Okay. And so, yes, this is about the timeline. It's like, yeah. You see, where the timeline piece goes then, it might show itself... It, it, there are various viewpoints, uh, you know, um, even with the timeline itself. So with the timeline itself, it's like, oh, the exact precision that he was to be there in that moment, perceived his clothing to be perceived exactly the way it was in that exact moment. Mm. At that point, you have more access to knowing that everything is happening now, everything that's ever happened now rather than it being horizontal of a past, present and future. Because that, that only happens when you're, that perception that you had Melinda only happens when, when you're actually accessing the verticality of time. Okay. You see? Yeah. You don't see the precision when it's a timeline. It's like, oh, this is happening now. Oh, that's beautiful. But that like, oh, you're actually on the vertical there, but I'm guessing that that you saw a point of the vertical, but there was enough of you connected to the timeline to experience the vertical, but you didn't know it was the vertical. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that that vertical, like just to kind of tell you, um, everything that has ever happened is only happening now. Yes. In the, the vertical. Constant. Yeah, it's it's all it's it's all only now. All of it <clears> ever <throat> could. Now there's another le deeper lens of perception that shows something else, but that's okay. the one that you're on the cusp of. It's like you got a, a pinprick there into the vertical line. See if you can access it, because that's the joy of these things. It's like, okay, these things happen by automatic, but I need to get so skilled that I can access them, authentically yes. access them at will. Yes. Yeah. Feels like it's at will, you know, yeah. that's another story, but it does yeah. feel like it's at will, you know? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now you know how to recognize it as like, oh, the perfection of this exact moment. See if you can find that portal, that entry point again. Okay. And you'll find that there's no past or there's no future. Right. See if you can recognize that there's no past and there's no future. Then you'll have disconnected from the linear. Now the vertical will be all that's available. But that step of there's no past, there's no future, actually. That's the next that, step. That changes. Oh, sorry, I feel so much emotion. That changes everything. Yes, it changes everything, 
she's got it. Awesome. <laughs> it changes everything. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, well yeah. done. Because you wouldn't have seen that, only that you actually have access to it. Mm. It changes everything. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Why does it feel like there's a sense of grief around that? What is what is that? Oh, it feels like it's a morning of something. Oh. Yes. Because there's been centuries of believing in the timeline, oh. assuming that that's the that's how it is, really. And it's not, it's a construct. So there's a lot of so much pain from that belief. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it feels like there's oceans of tears. Yes. <sighs> yes. Something is a bit nervous. Something yeah. is a little bit afraid. Yeah. <sighs> Why did I put mascara on this morning? That was silly. So you could wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can still, I can still feel it, but I can also feel there's something that wants to kind of like shut it down a bit. Yeah. Okay. So, so let the grief come, like puke it all here. It's fine. <sighs> you know, let it all, like lifetimes of grief, let it come. It's fine. It's like, oh. Talk to me a bit more, Jack. Yeah, saying, else. Yes, yeah, I can feel where you are. Yeah, S saying yes, saying yes to the deconstruction, the destruction of linear time. Let it fall away, the, the prison of linear time, the limitations that linear time um, imposes. It's necessary in order to make experiencing happen. Yeah. But the believing that it is a, um, a true construct, it, it is done now. Yeah. It's done. And of course you suffered because you didn't know it was a construct. Of mm. course you did again and again and again. But it, it feels like it's a, a morning for all suffering of everybody's suffering it's like it's yeah. i think that's what sort of freaked us out a bit because it was just so yeah so big yes that's right Cons yeah yeah we do we dial into the collective suffering when we're doing yeah. this level of consciousness freeing up going yeah. into components yeah we're, we're doing it for the collective because our individuality is too far away it's, yeah. it's too far away you know so Because it's 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 a it's a unified belief system that there is linear time, so one when one disconnects it, it it reverberates because it's the unit that held it together. Because we commonly believe in linear time. Oh man! I just keep getting that's just so painful. That's what comes is that that's just so painful to believe yes S stay it's with so that okay. I, I want that to release here that pain as much oh. as, as will come i really want to invite it so that you don't have to carry that you don't yeah. have to carry it you can leave it here okay so can i just dialogue it because i'm not sure much there's okay. not a strong sense of emotion at the moment so maybe it's just the way this this operates perfect so um 
there's just this sense of um, so much suffering, this awareness and, oh, just love of so much suffering for everybody. Oh. <laughs> Feels like it's. I can still see the chasm. It's like I'm looking at a crack. Yes. I'm looking into a chasm. Yes. But it's also very still. So I don't know if the mind's given me the image, but there's also this sense of just still. Mm -hmm. The mind will give an image to the best of its ability. Yeah. Your internal experience, though, your, your felt sense is more authentic. The mind is just helping you. It okay. has to put a picture on it because that's how it functions. Yeah. So, <sighs> so we can have both there. Okay. We need to have both, you know. Okay. It feels like it's gone somewhat blank. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, big, yeah. like a ball. It was like a, woof. there was a ball of, um, of, of global suffering, collective suffering, you know? Yeah. And of course, if we don't believe in the timeline, we, we, the other experiences of being in pain, of being in prison, being in a war zone, of things like, things will never get better. Every single piece of suffering that's connected to time in our, in our minds is locked in to that framework that the timeline is real. So the timeline has to be real for any suffering to happen, to be bought into fully, to be our full yeah. on experience. You see, because we're comparing with, it was better before, it would be better if this changed. It's all connected to the timeline, yeah. the capacity to have a subjective personal experience. And so when it cracks for one, it reverberates because it's a collective construct. And so, of course, the breaking has to fall, has to throw off, has to throw off its potential. And so it will release, it will release the, the, um, the, the suffering that was gluing it down and making it solid there. You okay. see? And so the chasm comes, the break, and the, there's another opening. And of course, it allows other people to come through it, okay. you know, to... It's a, not so much that people are coming through it, but, but, but that there is a seeing through of the illusory, illusory um, aspect of the timeline. And of course, the timeline is there, you know, like in an hour's time, you'll be doing something else. But we know now it's a construct. You know, it's yeah. a construct, construct for functioning. For experience. Yes, for experience to, to register. Yes. And then it ends up kind of becoming something beautiful. Yeah. Y you know? No matter what's happening, it becomes something beautiful. That's right. No matter. It doesn't matter if it's painful or not. Or yes. Loving or not. Or That's right. That's right. Because the baseline of what holds personal experience together um, is 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 not taken to be real or not, you know, glossed over. It's noticed to be, oh, that's a foundational stone that makes all of this suffering possible. Yeah. And, and here's the magic of like, we have to wake up alone and it might seem like we're, you know, we're, we're being quite selfish about it, but invariably the deeper we go, the more what we're doing is about the collective oh, i can feel that now i can see that now yeah, yeah i can yeah i can really see that yeah yeah, yeah it's it's a huge service it's, for, it's, for yeah, human. It's huge massive to wake up I yeah. somehow hadn't seen it at that level before yeah and also it somehow it just makes me love this more yes there it is <laughs> it makes you love your own incarnation more yes yeah the manifestation of how it shows up. Yeah. 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 yeah.